We all, we have Shogun, uh, the Fox. I don't know if he still plays Fox. Uh, Snake Fox. Snake Fox. Okay. Snake Fox. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we have. Aim. We have Shuton. We have, we have T. We have both T's. We have both T's. <laughs> yeah, we have Ken. That was crazy. Unfortunately, he got upsetted by Runes <laughs> earlier in yeah. the bracket. I'm sure. I, I don't know if he's actually in losers at this point. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll update you guys. As soon yeah. As possible. If you guys didn't see that set, that was crazy. Like that. Like, if you, if anyone ever tries to tell you that DK is a bad character, they're probably right. But they can definitely ruin someone's day. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's definitely not that a useless type of character. That character deserves everything bad happening to him. That's all yeah. I'm gonna say, man. Yeah. I, I have suffered the oppression he, of DK. DK is not gonna win any <laughs> majors anytime soon, but he's definitely going to ruin a top player or two's bracket run, as he did yesterday. Yeah. Looks like these two are ready to get it going. We're going to go with the doggo, Lucario. What's we going to go with? Joker. Okay. I actually haven't seen Tweak's Joker, so this is going to be very interesting to see, especially him and MKLeo being the one and two players currently on our rankings, so it's going to be interesting to see how these two go oh, down. Oh, so I regret to inform you guys, for these guys wondering where Ken is at he unfortunately is out of this tournament at 97th place dang that's a that's a smash four type of placing right there that's, yes that's unfortunate Alrighty. actually no i think i'm sorry let me go ahead and double check on that for you guys no he actually is still in oh, okay, okay uh he's actually up against uh magister Okay, okay. In losers round one. Okay, okay. In top one. Yeah, so you, still oh, so, so you were still you were reading like when Smash GG tries to automatically yeah, place yeah, yeah. you even before you're out of the tournament. Okay. Yeah, Joker. Goes with the schoolboy outfit. Very interesting pick. I like it, man. It's pretty sharp. Yeah. It's, pretty, it's it's a sharp look. Alright, here we go. Looks like now these uh two players are ready to get it going. Alrighty. What's the round start? Single gun into dash attack. Okay, I like <laughs> it. <laughs> it's kind of like the classic like Fox thing here you would see, right? Start off with laser right immediately. Mm -hmm. But with Joker having less end lag from take aim, right? You can just go for that into dash attack immediately. Get that free 8.8% right there. So it amounts to it build up a lot too. Mm -hmm. Immediately what I'm seeing, I think Tweak does a very good job of staying within burst range and being able to pressure. So every time Su tries to do something, it's like, okay, I'm going to be right there. I can get either like a down tilt. I could go in with a dash attack, go in with the grab, and just go in on you. Yeah. We're going to have to see how refined his combo game is. We haven't seen anything too big quite yet, but he's just winning purely off of neutral exchanges and ledge trapping right now. Mm -hmm. It also amounts to how fast he can actually take care of Lucario. That back, it was so meaty, and the aura sphere there for the threat. Yeah, that was scary for a second. Okay, parries the down her actually. Okay, now we got another aura sphere on deck. Ooh, no four smash though. What's it gonna be? Four throw. Take him to the other ledge. I think it's up to 96 or 96 or 98 percent where the down throw upper will connect. And unfortunately, he kind of saw that Sue was at 106, mm -hmm. so he did not waste bother to go for it. He just went for four throw okay. and get stage control. Sue immediately though turns it up with 106. So he's got aura on his hands. All right, high recovery gets around that. Yeah. Now Sue all of a sudden is like, okay, you're gonna try and go in on burst speed. So I'm gonna just keep my exact equal distance away mm -hmm. and then do you go for a dash back and then done punish you after that either like try to call out your jump try to call out you landing with an aerial into my shield something like that and so far sue's defense has been turning into his offense right now yeah and the best defense is a good offense for sue especially knowing that a lot of his specials do get powered up by being an aura at 131. Oh, nice. He tried to space out the back air, especially against Tweak here. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Sue Su living to a high percent. Of course, Aura is not as crazy as it was before, but still, it's going to be very dangerous to, to think about. So, Tweak's got to get rid of the stock soon. He's yeah. no arson available, too. He's got to get a Rebels oh. card or something. He tried to go for the low back air, but unfortunately, the down air from Sue will catch Tweak on the re grab. No invincibility there, but the back air finally finishes. All right. Sue already up two stocks to one, both of them fresh. Let's see how both of these two players. Uh, Trying to seal the deal on this first game. Looks like Tweak's gonna have a little bit of trouble. Okay, simple, simple combo. Definitely, uh, at least I don't know if it's necessarily just like the stage or, or if he's just starting off on the first game. Definitely not as combo oriented as MK Leo's Joker. Mm -hmm. but definitely the neutral exchanges and less trapping type of uh, Joker instead. That's kind of one of those things I've always liked about Tweet too, right? Even though he can pick up the same character like MKLeo, he has his own mix to it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of players do in their own right, but it's something about Tweet that he always is, has his own personal flair to it. Immediately going to the back air. Nice. Only goes for the first part of take aim and immediately chooses to land on the stage. He knows the next part was not going to be worth it. So he wants to make sure he has stage control. 107 here to Sue, and he stops him before he gets the extreme speed. Yep. 
I mean, Sue has been recovering high every time. Yeah. Because every time he goes low, then he, he, I think he's just worried about uh, Arsene back here. So he tries to go for the safer option. That time, Tui was just able to read it and continue on with that. So now Sue's probably going to have to think about mixing up his recoveries at this point. Mm -hmm. Tui got 76 here, but yeah, I mean, especially against a whip punisher, it can definitely change things around rather quick. Oh, spot dodge immediately on the landing aerial. The thing about Lucario too is most of his combos do come from up throw rather than down throw, as some people would be opposed to seeing. Yeah. Now that Tui, now, now Tui's starting to get his groove in. Like once he opens up with something, then he does a dash back, baits out something, comes back in, gets the bigger punish off of it, and able to increase the damage. Now the deficit between these two is very minuscule. But we'll see. What? What? The force palm what? from <laughs> close range is switching up on Tweak B and Shield. That's something you can't forget about at times. And with Aura activated. That'll take care of him right there at that position. Tweak was not ready for that. Not even, not even you were. I wasn't even ready, man. That happened so fast. It did. It, it didn't even do like the, you know, the zoom in at cinematic or no, anything no, like no. that. It's just like boom. You would usually see that too, yeah. but yeah, it just happened right away. <laughs> the tweak like di super far out, or did I feel the like game, he, no, did I, the I, game just not feel like doing it, or what happened? I honestly feel Tweak was not ready for that one. <laughs> I, I, you weren't ready. I weren't ready. We were all caught off guard. Yeah, just, just listen to me saying like, oh yeah, the, the deficit is very small. Boom, he's dead. All right, fair enough. Yeah, and for Lucario, he was at eighty percent and. Aura starts around, I think, 50 to 60 percent. So for that to be already activated, and that's the one thing we didn't see Sue go for. He wasn't going for Force Palm. He went for the last, he went for it early on the game, but late game, he did not go for Force Palm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, first point on the board goes to Sue here. Could be cool. I wouldn't want to call it an upset against uh, Team Japan here, but seeing Tweak into losers this early, especially against Sue, not a position he wants to be in. Mm -hmm. Of course, the story has yet to be written. Tweak still fighting here. I think both of these two, or actually more so on Sue's part, every time he gets an open up on a combo, he gets a lot of damage out of it too. Yeah. So, something to consider as well. I mean, it's, it's Lucario, that's always been his style because I, it, he doesn't have to worry about being at a deficit because he gets an aura return afterwards, so he can play a little bit more aggressive. And he doesn't have to worry about, you know, Arsene about as much. He can, he can still take the damage for a little bit longer. And you mentioned it earlier, last game too. Tweak always tries to make sure he's in that burst range, and right, he's making sure of that. This game, he's always in that burst range, making sure if it is the run and gun option, he has to go for it. It's more so in his favor. Sue off the stage here, 123. Tweak looking for either a back air or a forward air. Wow, he actually gets back from the ledge. That looked really hard. Great parry. Not gonna get anything out of it, but still gets his repositioning. And then dash attack two. Oh man, the movement yeah, and yeah. the force palm. Another one, two for two here. Gonna take out that first talk again on this game too. Yeah, and this time you will see the critical hit happen. And it's really tough too, because even if you don't get caught on the force palm of the initial actual grab box that you get from it, you will get caught by the actual, I would like to call it the shotgun burst of it, right? The flame will actually still hit you. Yeah, very confident edge guard from Tweak there. Just knew, okay, you're gonna go high. I'm just gonna double jump, commit to it. I'm not gonna lose my position because you're gonna be dead on this edge guard. Already Arsene's out on this next dock. Okay, Another up air. Already pretty much evening it up, only 6% separating the two. I like the run-in, pushing the shield to the ledge. That's something I, I see a lot, a lot of top players too. If they're going to see you hold shield, they like to just push you right towards the ledge as much as they can. Okay, Trading spaces the with the back air. Oh, the arson deactivation <laughs> yeah. kind of stalled himself there. Yeah, very interesting. Okay, there's the up tilt. Not able to get anything out of it though. Both of them trade. <laughs> they really want to force smash on each other here. But there we go. Wave bounce force palm. Oh, what a mix-up, too. He wanted to let Tweak know, I'm going off stage. Never mind. I'll make sure I come back here and hit you when you thought you were safe. You mentioned being in that first range, right? Tweak still make sure, making sure he stays consistently in that area. But last time he was, he did get Force Bomb. Four took to put him off the stage. I feel like that's what Tweak is now accounting for. Force okay. Bomb, getting Force Bomb twice at this point, he has to already feel that, especially with Lucario at 96%. Mm -hmm. Very nice recovery that time around. He decided to go low and then arc above. That time it really messed up Tweak. He didn't get the edge guard that time around. Arsene available again in the second stock. Back throw. Stage control here. Either a back air or a down air might do it in place. Okay. Yeah, now Sue's mixing up his recoveries even more. Now that he's at a high percent, like, so one edge guard will probably be deaf. Oh! Force, or excuse me, the Aura Sphere that time, Tweak not ready for it, thinking, okay, what's the mix up on the extreme seat this time around? It's like, nope, I'm gonna throw out my projectile, you're gonna be dead. You talk about mixing the recoveries here, Tweak, uh, Sue mixes up the offensive game. Yeah. He knows what he needs to do to get back on the stage, and if it's Aura Sphere close range like that, he's not afraid to pull it out. Even if it means Tweak is gonna hold shield, it'll buy Sue some time. Mm -hmm. 
Oh man, just playing really careful. Knows that one good Joker conversion could potentially lead to the stock. But he's getting that chip damage. It's working very nicely for him. Tweak's not really able to find like a conversion into a kill. You know, not like a fair one into a drag down or anything like that. He's really trying to fish for something, but he's leading Lucario to be like a 180%. That's definitely not a good place to be in. Yeah. Fine, up tilt will be able to do it. If I'm not mistaken, I think Lucario still has max, max aura at 190. That was a smash 4%. I don't know if they changed it too, too much in this game. But Sue was definitely approaching it and immediately Tweet was able to take care of it. Down throw, no back air. Of course, he was going for the reverse aerial rush. Yeah, even game between both of these two. Up Into air. the up air, not enough to do it. Oh. Tries to go on the chase. I like it too. The forward, I would have put him off the stage. Tweet wants to make sure he has stage control and Lucario nowhere near the ground. Yeah, Arsene is about to go away. Bye bye. Oh no. He's still, even without Arsene, still trying to keep up the control. That's a big F smash, though. Loses his positioning. What's going to happen here? It's quick down to be able to interrupt, and again, interrupting that Aura Sphere. The more time Tweak spends on against Lucario, the more easier it is for Sue to either get him on the Force Bomb or Aura Sphere. And the drag down from the upper will finish it off right towards the ledge. Tweak had the master plan all along. He finally did it. <laughs> it took two games and five stocks when he finally got a fair one conversion. And he's able to seal it out, and it came in clutch on that game, too. So now we're going 1-1 here. Mm -hmm. So close, to Honestly, for Sue, he pretty much felt like, okay, you we're pretty much at even percent no matter what. At this point, a Force Bomb and Aura Sphere, even then a forward smash with Matt with pretty much semi-max semi Aura. Okay, sticking with their mains. Neither of them wants to let up so far. Here we go. All right, here, game three here. At this point, we're probably going to see a lot of adaptation from Sue in terms of recovery. Right, last game, he was starting to definitely show that. Not only defensive, but offensive recovery with the Aura Sphere for Tweak is going to be how much he can adapt to a lot of Lucario specials. Yeah. And honestly, in the meta game, that's one of the characters you don't really see too often, right? Lucario, he's definitely one of those high-caliber characters. You, it requires a lot of skill to me. I know mm -hmm. we do have a player such as Moonshine who also uses Lucario. Yeah, he's definitely a, a rare character, to mm -hmm. say the least. Man, I just can't go over how interesting Tweak's uh, Joker is. He doesn't opt for like the full like Twitter combos. He no. goes for like soft resets, so he like to drag down up air into another conversion, and then just wait. You're gonna spot dodge, go in for another grab, something like that. And, and then it's working out for him so far. Yeah, and that's and that's the Tweak branding, right? He's making sure he always has his own flair to the character, even though he just picked them up, or if he's just using them for the first time, he has his own flair to it. All right, let's see. What Tweak's gonna do, he's got an Arsene available very soon. Yeah, 133, Tweak is not wasting time, but the <laughs> unfortunately the back air won't be there, and Sue will rob this man of that opportunity here. I think he yeah. lost his stock at like 53, 63%? Yeah. That's very down unfortunate. Smash, yeah. There we go, yeah. I, th I think he was trying to do a down, uh, or up throw, or excuse me, a up air drag down confirmed last time, but then he like miss it or something, so. But he was able to get it that time around, so now we're back to an even game here. Two stocks apiece. Up throw? Yeah, forward air. And I mentioned it earlier, if you guys have been hearing out, a lot of Lucario's combos do you start from the up throw. Yeah, this, uh, reminds me of the good old days, man. <laughs> or the Dark Ages, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to question you, man. What kind of Dark Ages Lucario bring to us? <laughs> but Tweak definitely feeling a lot of those Dark Ages because they're up even and still in points. And Tweak has to pay a lot of respect to Sue now having Aura in his hands. 72% yeah. Tweak has to watch out on the landing. Now that I think that both of these two kind of got a groove for how each of them are playing, they're really going toe-to-toe -to -toe at this point. Deep edge guard, not gonna be able to find it. Extreme speed still goes far, even if it's vulnerable. Okay, gets the the hit of the extreme uh, yeah the aggressive uh, version. Alrighty, Alrighty. it's very difficult to see who's gonna get that next mm, stock. That was oh! close too. Tweak watching the neutral game here. He wants to make sure he's not getting caught between the aura sphere hits or even the force bomb. And the back end will do it for Sue here at 129%. Tweak has to get rid of Sue's stock. Yeah, just met him on the air to air. It comes out so quick, and then Tweak wasn't ready for it. And ooh, that damage looking really big right now. But oh, another no drag, drag down. down. Up air into up smash closes it out yet again. Even I forgot the platform was there, and Tweak immediately knows the platform is there. I won't be able to go for down smash. I'll switch it up to the up smash. Mm -hmm. There we go. There's our send. Back at it again. 
And I do like how Sue kind of plays around Lucario too. He's making sure he's moving around with Boris here, wave bouncing, wave landing. He's making sure each time he's moving around, Tweak, it's around the <gasps> RSM, but a backer puts him off the stage. Tweak trying to go a little bit low here, but he chooses to take stage control. Down throw to the up air is it will still connect. Alrighty, he's gotta figure out how to land on the ground. He didn't have a jump that entire time, but he's finally gonna be able to make it back. No double jump. Tweak decides to respect it. Ooh, just meets him in the air with another back air. Is he gonna close out the stock? He does not. Now he's stuck in a less trap situation. Tries to go for a forward smash. Not able to find it. What's the option? Just goes for a dare out of shield. Nice, worse your charge. Tweak trying to come in with the back air once again. <laughs> each and every time, Sue is there with a back air, a force palm, or an Ura Sphere. Dude, that sucks. I think that traded with like up air one or yeah. something like that. So that just, <laughs> that's terrible. So he's going to get that trade. Even Sue, look at him. He's like very, very excited that he got that. Yeah, Sue is at set point. If you guys are wondering, we, yes, we do have two streams. And of course, this, the entire SoCal is popping off right now. Four T3 Dome up against T in the BTS Smash stream. If you guys want to make sure you guys have that multi-twitch, or if you guys are seeing the squad stream, definitely make sure you guys have both of them on here. Of course, I mentioned uh, another Lucario man that we do have here in the US that is Moonshine. He does reside in Colorado. Uh, for his, for he's a streamer for Arca Gaming, so definitely check him out. Alrighty, looks like Tweak's thinking about it. He's looking for the right Wario color. Here we go. This is gonna be interesting to see. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry. It's game five. Last talk. Oh no! And just as I say, and unfortunately, the commentator curse from the other side of the screen. Uh, T did beat out T3 Dome from the UCI crew in the BTS Smash stream. But here, let's go right into it. Tweak is no longer gonna go to the Joker. He's feeling the Wario. Especially as he's putting right up. He's being put to the back foot. Sue up at set point. Yeah. Yeah, and all of a sudden, Tweak getting a lot more aggressive. Just trying to get that first fastball in there to start it into a really big combo. I mean, I, I, I think I agree with this pick, too. I think Wari has some very easy kill confirms at, like, decently um, high percents. So it definitely works out uh, in his favor to try and get rid of Lucario's stocks quickly. Yeah. And just like that... <laughs> 112% already on Sue. I'm just looking for a down tilt. Yep, into a dash attack. Oh, found the corner DI. Still not going to be able to lose his stock quite yet. Nice, and he tosses the bike at the prime, the prime opportunity when he sees Sue land. He knows he's been going. The one thing about Lucario, the, one of his shortcomings too, is he does have his hurt box available out there, especially when he goes for extreme speed and when he's at the ledge. His ears do stick out, so that means you actually can't hit him still. Mm -hmm. Oh, up tilt. Not going to find anything afterwards. And now Sue is, uh, I mean, I think just right now, the Wario is doing a much better job at controlling the pace of the match, making Sue have to play catch up. <laughs> I, I have to think about that for a second. I was like, oh man, is he dead already? <laughs> he, made you, he made you hold the whole letter down. <laughs> yeah. Making Sue have to play at uh, Wario's pace. So, I mean, Wario obviously a much faster character, much more mobile in the air. So, I think Sue is having a hard time keeping up at this point. Yeah. And I don't, and I really can't tell you guys if Sue does play against Kamehameha often because, of course, Japan is such a big country that it's separated <gasps> into regions. But he waits on the landing for the WAF. He said, "This is a big stage for me." And uh, <laughs> unfortunately, you will fall into this up there. This percent continues on, man. Yeah. I want to say Tweak is steamrolling against Sue with this Wario. Yeah, that was so smart from Tweak. He got the late hit of it, so then he went up further. So he knew he wasn't gonna able to convert into the WAF. So he <laughs> just waited for an air dodge or a defense option, and that converted very nicely for him. Now Sue all of a sudden on his last stock on this fourth game here. Gonna be potentially going to a game five with the pace that Tweak is going in here. Oh man, back here, takes him off stage. Nice Wario landing. He t I like the toss up too because he knows he wants the force. Uh, the one thing Sue may be looking for as a recovery option is a jump one. And unfortunately for Tweak, he will pick the option when he does get hit by the Aura Sphere going for the neutral recovery. All right, he's not. He's down, but he's not out. So Sue is at 150. I mean, something silly can definitely happen. But you know what? Wario is Wario. So that's yeah. just going to be a conversion. Now we're going to game five. Yeah, no silly stuff here between Tweak and Sue at this game for now pushing it to game five. Yeah, very commanding answer to a 2-1 lead from Sue. Yeah. yeah but switching up a character and ending it on a two-stock as well. It goes to show that... Oh, like, not two-stock, almost JV2, I think. Yeah. yeah. And we did mention it earlier, right? Tweak is a, is a, as a player of many characters. He can pick up a character, give it two days, and you'll see him definitely take a tournament or two with it. And he did put in time to Wario. One of the one of the characters we saw Tweak definitely put a lot of time to was Wario, a Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Now the question is, 
does Sue pick something else, or does he just stick to the Lucario? Because I know he likes to dabble in the other characters. So we're going to have to see. Okay, he's waiting for her Tweak to pick first. I can definitely either. Yeah, I, I think he's going to go try to chew Lucario. Okay, all right. He was thinking about it. I feel like he was thinking about it. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit. Very brave of him to stick to the Lucario after that strong answer from Warrior. I feel like I'd be pretty shook to try and stick to my main after that. But you know what? He's got a little bit of a wider space now than FD. Gonna mm -hmm. be gonna be a little bit easier to navigate around with those platforms on the side, especially on the ledge trap situation. So we'll see. Maybe Sue can bring something around here. Nice. This time we're seeing Sue take advantage of the stage here. He's trying to make sure he spaces himself around Tweak. Especially after that neutral area, he will get enough spacing. We can actually walk away from it. Up tilt, nice. Starts it off once more. Yeah, uh, and I'm telling you, the soft resets. Tweak is just so good at them, able to convert even more off of it. Up tilt, up to upper once more. <laughs> Throws the bike at him. There's so many options covered at that point. Yeah, and Sue kind of stuck at the ledge here. How's he going to get back around? He Tweak. does not forward throw, back him off stage. Let's reset the situation here. And you have to give it to Tweak here. He's so good at reading those get-up options too as well. Especially how he went through the last game. He will read the landing option as well. Sue thought he had the opportunity to actually space out the neutral air, but unfortunately Tweak goes right there. All right, let's see how Sue tries to bring this back. But like I said before, Tweak really controlling the pace of the match here. Hey, dash attack? Oh, oh man, no. he just met him on the center of the stage, man. He just knows where Sue's trying to go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Sue so sees the out of shield option too, and he wanted to hit him in the back air, but Tweak was enough to get away from it. Yeah, I mean, just the. Uh, oh. Okay, oh. interesting. I, I respect the attempt. We thought he was going to go for like a block string or something like yeah. that, but he said he decided to wait. Man, it's just so difficult because you see how Lucario is so floaty in the air, but Wario is just so fast when he fast falls and rises, mm -hmm. so it's hard for him to keep him up in the air. So he has to really pick his battles when he decides to go for an air-for-air -air option because Wario could easily get whiffed and then he can get punished big off of that. Yeah. All right, well, it has been the two-minute counter. Wario does get whiffed every two minutes. We do see it active now and a little bit of a flash. Yeah, he's definitely going to try to get rid of this first stock and then just cheese him out on the last one. Yeah. I, I can just feel it right now. And he has to, too, right? With the Wap being such a big advantage tool to have over his opponent. Yeah. The, the only... Okay. All of a sudden, things are starting to get a little bit hairy here. And oh. they are very dicey. And Sue taking it over Tweak on that last stock deep off the stage. Okay. All of a sudden, I feel like I might be eating my words. That was a great edge guard. What's he going to do here? I mean, it's still pretty much possible for Tweak to bring it back. He does have Wap still active. He knows what it means, especially up against his two stocks. All right, let's see. The bike. Not quite going to get anything off of that. I feel like you can feel Tweet kind of fishing for it. Doesn't even need the down tilt, though. Tech chase scenario. Just decides to run away from it. Able to get that dash attack. And now, all of a sudden, this turtle to turn down, turn around the game. Even game for both players here. <gasps> Tweet gets a landing, though. Up tilt confirmed, but he's making sure he still keeps it up against Sue. The pressure is on. That's up it. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought he was going to go for it, but he doesn't. <laughs> Now yeah. it's it. Yeah, there, there we go. go. He wanted to make sure he was not going to let any chance slip up here for it. And what a respectable handshake from Sue. He was really happy about how those games played out. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought all of a sudden.